your pitch breakdown for Garrett Cole tonight. 75 total pitches over the five innings and a split jack between the four seamers and the sliders. Did it feel like those were maybe the only two pitches he trusted or felt comfortable with tonight? I think those were the pitches he felt comfortable with, Bob. There was one point where he threw 11 straight sliders. Now, is there a possibility within this pitch tracking that one of them was read as a slider and it was a curveball? That's possible. But he threw his curveball 15% of the time last year, and he threw his changeup 7% of the time. So if you're going to shed a pitch or two, those are the ones you're going to shed, and you're going to go with your four-seamer. You're going to go with your slider. You've already heard John Flaherty detail that his fastball command wasn't exactly where it needed to be. But again, I, I applaud Cole for grinding his way through this start when he was falling behind in a lot of counts and had to make a lot of big pitches. I'll make my second Andy Pettit reference of the show. <laughs> That's what Andy Pettit was known for. Get into a 2-1 count or a 3-1 count, but still figure out a way to get that guy out. And figure out a way to do it with a lead. You just have to hold serve, right, and get through that time knowing that whether the rain comes or whether maybe you're out of there in the fifth or sixth inning, and he probably could have gone into the sixth there at just 75 pitches, that you've got to keep the game where it is, whatever you have to do. Yeah, I think he would have come out for the sixth if there hadn't been any weather, and he actually finished with a flourish, Bob. Yes, it was against the bottom of the order, but, I mean, the last two batters that he faced were strikeouts because they were guys that I think he knew that he could attack. He trusted his fastball against those batters. There were some batters in the middle of the order for the Nats. He didn't want to throw his fastball. I mentioned how he had a streak of 11 straight sliders. Just didn't want to throw the fastball in those situations. But this is why he's such a smart pitcher. He knows his pitches better than anyone else. He knows what's working for him on that given night. And he's going to use that to get the kind of results he got tonight. Having had numerous conversations with him, what do you think this means to him? First start as a Yankee, wearing the road grays, getting the win. Yeah, yesterday when he did a Zoom call, he said, I'm stoked. I, I haven't been able to sleep. I'm thinking about this game so much. So, Bob, I think that it means a lot to him to win. But I also know that Garrett Cole is a big picture guy. He's not thinking, I got this win. I'm so excited. Let's celebrate. He's already thinking about, okay, what didn't work well for me tonight? What do Gary and I and pinch coach Matt Blake need to work on between starts. How do I get better for the next time out? Because he's thinking about helping the Yankees win a title, and his first step toward that tonight was a positive 